Travis Hunter, one of our first ever prestige players, just got an 88 overall limited corner. He's a million coins. He's the best corner in the game, right next to Will Johnson, who's already on the lineup. And since we prestiged Travis Hunter, we are always entitled to the best version possible. Now, normally, I would never play a player on both sides of the ball. I'd usually have to choose. But Travis Hunter in real life actually plays both sides of the ball. He also just had a nuclear game against North Dakota State. But there's a problem. If you try to sub Travis Hunter in, it says your lineup already includes Travis Hunter. You can't add another copy of the exact same player. I was shocked by this. Travis Hunter is a two-way player, but I can't play him two ways in the game. So I've got to make a decision. And as much as I like the wide receiver Travis Hunter, I think it's obvious that we got to take the 88 overall limited. So out goes Travis Hunter and in goes Giles Jackson, who's been sitting on our bench for a while. But now on defense, we have the best DB group in the country with Will Johnson and Travis Hunter. Oh, and trust me, I know what you're thinking. MMG, MMG, you're not prestige god. Travis Hunter was on the cover. Of course he was gonna get a big new upgrade. Oh yeah? Yes, sir. Oh yeah. I thought you might say some beta ass shit like that. So tell me what you have to say about this. Sign me overall, James Pierce. Jr. If that's not prestige God, then I don't know what is. Now, keep in mind, this James Pierce Jr. is a 90 speed, 91 excel, 6'5 edge rusher, and I prestige James Pierce Jr. The only problem is you can't get him quite yet. Season two just came out. There's exactly one on the auction house and it's 3.2 million coins. So give me like two weeks and I'll definitely have this card. I'm about to drop $6,000 so that I can have James Pierce right now. Regardless, I am prestige God. Let's just get that straight. All in all, things are looking really, really good on the Wheel of College Ultimate Team right now. As you know, it is ECU season. Our team captain is Chris Johnson. We've got Lamar at quarterback. We've got Will Johnson, Travis Hunter, and Abdul Carter. And we're currently three and one, which would mean next episode we're in the playoffs. That's only if we go undefeated today. Now, my offensive line could still use some work. My guards are okay. My right tackle sucks. My starting tight end is not very good either, and I have no backup tight end. And we just lost depth at wide receiver by moving Travis Hunter to defense. So I'd like to get a new wide receiver one. Defensively though, I feel really, really good. Smile Monday Jr. Abdul Carter are great linebackers. My safeties are excellent. My DBs now are very, very good. And on the defensive line, we've been great with James Pierce Jr. and Jadevian Clowney. So really, I want to pay a little more attention to offense, potentially an outside linebacker, but we can definitely make do with what we got here. Let's get it, gentlemen. It's the redemption season. I just barely lost the daddy last time. It was so sad. And we got to get it back right here, right now. And our very first spin is a heater. Maybe, dude. I'm so used to Team Wheel Jackpot being like the best spin on Wheel of Mutt. But in college, there's so many teams that just don't have a lot of good players. So we desperately... Okay, too late. I know they have at least a few players that are 83-ish overall. I don't know if they have anybody really good. All right, two lanes sorted by overall. Two lanes, got. Whoa, who are you? Who the fuck are you? Oh my God, they have a dog. Taylor Grubbs, 88 outside linebacker, power rusher. Wait a minute, dude. Oh my God, he's way better than Abdul Carter. Yo, and he's got a chiseled six pack. He's got some cum gutters on him, dude. What? I was aggressive when I just said. <laughs> Well, Tulane coming in clutch on the Team Wheel jackpot. I didn't expect to get much out of this, but for 250,000 coins, we're going to get Tyler Grubbs, an 88 outside linebacker. I think I have to start like edge rushing Abdul Carter and this dude though. I'm going to give him outside disruptor. I'm, I'm permanently scarred from last national championship where I got halfback stretched to death. Now I did say if I was going to get a defensive player, it was going to be an outside linebacker. That's exactly who we landed. So now we have Tyler Grubbs on the left side. We have Abdul Carter on the right side and Smile Minded Jr. in the middle. My linebackers are nasty right now. Our first spin at 88 overall stud out of two lane. Our second wheel spin. Can this be our wide receiver? Maybe. Wait, can it be? Is there a wide receiver in season one? I legitimately don't remember. So all we're gonna do is sort by season one and then we're gonna switch the filter to time remaining. I can choose one player out of that top 12. Dude, why am I blanking on season one? Quinshawn Judkins, Will Johnson, Abdul Carter, Colin Oliver, Jonah Monheim. Time remaining. Oh! <laughs> I know who I was blanking on. It's the 90 overall best wide receiver in the game, Luther Burden. Luther Burden the third. He actually got that third in his name from Matt Maher the third. Legendary, fatherless, 
um, spawn of Tyler, Boise State, Idaho. Whatever. Some of you don't know what I'm talking about, but you're uncultured. I actually just got so lucky because there's only one Luther Burden in here. Oh my God. I was six minutes away from not getting Luther Burden. That's crazy. All right, he's really expensive. I'm gonna have to get a lot more coins on this account, but I do not care. I needed a new wide receiver one, and I just so happened to get one of the best wide receivers in the game. This episode right now is two of the best wheel spins I've ever got, meaning we have to win this game. We have an 88 overall and now a 90 overall wide receiver one on the line. If we lose this upcoming game, we get nothing. 88 speed, 90 catch, 88 catch in traffic. He's so nasty. He's, you know, 5'11 isn't exactly the height you're looking for, but who cares? This is such a good wide receiver. I mean, technically we can lose this game and still make the playoffs, but I'm more worried about the players. And as I say that, we still have a third and final wheel spin still a really good spin. We get any stories of the week player that's an 80 to an 86 overall. I'm kind of interested in a fullback, potentially a right tackle, potentially a backup tight end. I think if they have a right tackle, we just gotta take it. As I say that, the first thing I'm looking at is a right tackle. It's an Arizona right tackle. Jonah Savai Ne'e. Look at the color of my fucking skin. Look at the color of my skin and tell me I'm gonna pronounce that shit. Jonah S. Welcome to the team, my friend. You are exactly what we need. My current starting right tackle is a 76 overall. Take that up to an 86 overall. And we get to add a wildcat to the squad. All right, yeah, this is officially one of the most important episodes. Jonah S. on the offensive line boosted to an 87. We got Luther Burden the third at wide receiver. We've got Tyler Grubbs, the power rusher out of two lane. We're three and one. This is a massive game coming up, gentlemen. And don't you forget it. We got the College Ultimate Team Challenge Wheel. Completing this challenge would give us, oh my goodness, it's gonna be <laughs> Dude, this game loves Clay Russell, the non-real Mormon. If we complete the challenge, we get one of any pack in the store, or we can salvage one player in the event of a loss. Now, earlier I said we were gonna go two games per regular season, but I'm not gonna lie, I just virtually ran out of coins. I could not do one more episode right now. Oh my God, wait a minute, what? How did he get Kobe Bryant to an 89 overall? You can do, you can upgrade him? I'm a casual. Will Johnson, Tyler Grubb, CJ, 2K. Georgia's got a solid team over here. No doubt. They got an 85 overall. We've got an 84 overall. So this is a fair matchup. We've got a whole lot on the line. We got to get a dub here, boys. Yeah, I know there's a way you can stop it, but I forgot to do it because I'm just not used to people being gigantic fucking pussies. I can't wait to beat you. I know there's a way to stop it. You got to do some specific kick return formation. I'm going to whoop your pussy ass and everybody on YouTube.com is going to see it. I don't give a shit if you're scum kicking or not. God, this guy is just a casual fucking loser. This is literally the defense you see all over YouTube, too. He, like, he just Googled all the glitch plays and booted up the game. Oh, it's gonna feel so good to beat you. Second and eight, CJ 2K. Let's stick to the game plan. I love the run game. Beautiful. Oh, 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 what the fuck? It hit his back. Are you blind, Stevie Wonder? All right, I have no idea how we just casually Stevie Wondered, but shit's gonna happen, I guess. Lamar's gonna step up, slide down to be smart, and we'll take six yards. How on earth did that just happen with Chris Johnson? Third and four, I'm ripping inside zone here. Let's cut this up. Oh, whoa, whoa. That is, none of that is what I tried to do. Am I lagging? Shit, this is a really big conversion all of a sudden. I'm not excited about this. Fourth and six. He's got a QB spy on me. Oh my God, and he didn't throw the ball? Chris Johnson's wide open. Why didn't he throw the ball? Intentional grounding. It's a great way to start out on defense. Oh, that's, that's bold. Pick six. Hello? Dude, who is Carpenter? Get out of the game. Who are you? Abdul Carter. Okay, so everybody good is in. Oh, it's because I have two middle linebackers in on this set. Okay, we're gonna have to run like nickel. All right, he, she just kicks a field goal. That first offensive drive was bullshit. I hit Chris Johnson in the back and then I couldn't throw the ball. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna win this game. Also, I think I'm supposed to go in this like different return or some shit. Is, is it this one? Yeah, get fucked pussy. I'm low-key tilted after last drive, so I gotta lock in and just ball out. I'm going burden. Dude, 
Why can't I throw the football? What is these windups? Look at Goad! Dylan Goad is the first man I can finally hit. I'm like, I'm so rusty. I gotta chill out. Let's just chill out and play ball. I think we're gonna be just fine. Where's my boy Luther Burden? There he is. Ooh. Second and two. I'm gonna go handoff here, CJ2K. Ooh, gotta get around the user. Let's just keep this one simple. Third and one. What do we got? Oh, beautiful. Just a little Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson! <laughs> that got scary. I'm going Luther Burden. Was that like a bad ball? I actually had inside release on it. Ah, see, he's 5'11", dude, and he's 6'3". That'd be a touchdown right there. That was just a, that was a weird looking play. I don't know what happened. All right, third and seven, big play right here, gentlemen. Oh my God, across the field! What a fucking ball! Dude, that's like a cardinal sin as a QB. Oh, that was gorgeous! That was, um, Sibley. That was the Liberty wide receiver. That's gross. Oh, by the way, guys, I learned that if you just hold A the entire time on a kick, it'll just automatically give you a half power kick. So you don't even have to time up a PAT. You can just put it down the middle and hold A the entire time. I just learned that. You can do it on a kickoff too, but obviously you kind of want power on a kickoff, so. Ooh, look at Grubs. Look at Grubs. All right, so if I run 3-3, that'll give me Abdul Carter and Smile Mondin as my user. And then I have James Pierce Jr. and Grubs. Oh, this is so good. First and 10, he could run this football. What do you know? Oh, it's a triple option. But we got bodies on that. All right, second and seven. We played a really, really good defense so far. I say as I get fucking lit up. Sick. Gotta be ready for the run at all times. First and 10, no run here. I see the boundaries, and guess who gets home? Tyler Grubbs, the two-lane monster himself. Second and 10, what are they looking for here? Judkins underneath? Sure is. Bob, fumble, pick the fucking ball up. Oh my God. Oh my God, the wear and tear on Judkins? Quinchon Judkins has minus 12 speed right now. It, wear and tear is so broken. Can we just be real? Oh, left side is absurdly open. That is absurdly not. I don't know what's going on right now. Was there a patch? What is going on? Why does the game feel so weird right now? Wear and tear is so busted. Fourth and five, we can get another stop right now. Need it, boys. Need it, boys. Oh, great play. I did not expect that. He needs this touchdown. Definitely could be a run. The thing is, is Quinshawn is so wear and teared. He's got absolute, oh no, he has the corner out. Does he throw it? Where are you going? Will Johnson! Take this, Johnson, little bitch! You love that, Johnson! And that Johnson loves you! Scum kick my dick in your ass! Let's go! Come on! This is my penis! That is crazy, too, because Will Johnson had a pick six against Fresno State. Literally, like, a few days ago. 14-3? to three. He really tried to test Will Johnson in the back of the end zone. That's so bold. Also, I am well aware that I need a fullback touchdown, but you gotta understand that it's most important that I win the game right now. So I'm not going for the fullback touchdown until I'm in, like, such a good position for it. That was one hell of a ball. But Quinchon Judkins is like dead on the field right now. He just took another big hit. Will Howard's got a ton of wear and tear. How does like Will Howard have wear and tear? I think I sacked him once, maybe. They gotta, they gotta fix wear and tear. Next patch like has to fix it, right? It's gonna be annoying. He tried to throw that to his halfback, ended up hurtling. Will Johnson's walking out of here on a stretcher. Second and nine, 23 seconds. He's got one timeout left. He wants this route. Oh, that's such a good ball. He pass led that perfectly, but he got rocked. That's the only way I don't pick that up. Let's guess pass. So James Pierce Jr. and Tyler Grubbs get better pass rush. This is gonna be a hard throw for him. It's gonna be a really hard throw for him. Fourth and 21, timeout. We can get the football back. This would be a perfect time to get fullback touchdown if we can somehow get it. There is no way you go for this. That's so crazy. I'm sending a blitz. Mondin, Mondin! Oh my God, he got that off. Holy shit, Tavon Austin, wow. Wow, dude, he, wow. I thought for sure I was gonna bag him there. First and 10, he has no timeouts. So he kinda has to hit a corner route or just get everything right now. 
All right, well, we're in such good position. There's no way we don't swap that down. All right, it's 14 to three, but he does start with the football. So if he can get a touchdown here, it'll be a one possession game. Don't forget, I got to score 40 points to open. Oh, you can't actually see it right now, but the Immaculate Box. And I've been wanting to open that for so long. First and 10, let's do it again. Come on. Don't you dare throw that. Don't even think about it. Oh, he thought about it. What? There was a patch or something. He's low-key been putting together like a kind of impressive offense right now, and I don't like it. We got to get a stop, and we got to get it quick, and that's a great All right, now we switch it up. Out of this defense, it can always look like I'm blitzing, but I never have to blitz. That's why I like it so much. Oh, that's a, that's a pick! Sanker! Let's go. Give me a block. Oh, my God. Mike Evans got off that block like he was prime Ray Lewis. Tavon Austin with the tackle. Dude, he's got some nasty skill position players. That Tavon Austin himself is 2 million coins. Can we talk about that? He's 2 million coins. First and 10. CJ2K. Get past the user. Spin. You're in trouble now, amigo. Big play right here. Oh, Luther Burden. I see you, buddy. Absorbs a big hit for nine yards. Nice work. All right, inside zone. Let's reset these chains. See if he can shoot this gap, this gap well enough. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. That was the ugliest way to pick up those yards. First and 10. Come on, boys. We're looking good right now. What about Luther Burden in single coverage? Is that there? I don't want to greed for it. Oh, shit. Yikes, we are really struggling with him right now. He's been flying through that line. Yeah, that's on my 93 right guard. Second and 19. Let's get a big one, boys. Ooh. Outside release to CJ2K. That was an excellent catch. We'll pick up 11 yards, and I'm going to go no huddle all go. I'm going to put a Texas on CJ2K. This is like this is like my favorite full route combo ever. Just a couple of streaks, a Texas, and you've always got Lamar Jackson. In case you want to do Lamar Jackson things, come on, baby. First and 10, nice work. I can't believe I haven't ran speed option yet. Let's get down to the one and let's let Clay Russell soak his fake Mormon ass straight into that end zone. Call up a roommate, have him shake the bed. You know the vibes, good pitch. He's too fast. He's too fast and he's too strong. First and 10, I'm going for that 40 bomb. It's, it doesn't look super realistic right now. But you always got to go for it. You are not fast enough. You might be. <laughs> Come on now, coach. Give me a sweaty play. Second and 10. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, no Luther Burton? Oh, you're just going to leave? You're going to leave the Georgia Tech legend, Dylan Gold? Get Clay Russell in the ball game, coach. Coach, I got a call from Joseph Smith himself. Mormon Jesus said you better get your ass in the end zone if you want a shot at those 93 virgins in heaven. I'm pretty sure I just mixed up like eight different religions. Clay Russell, alhamdulillah. Okay, two yards. Okay. Come on, Clay Russell. It's not Kwanzaa yet, buddy. Shit! Clay Russell! Oh my god! I'm telling Joseph Smith, bro, what are you doing? The steel curtain! The steel curtain! This defense is so good. We are unbelievable right now. It doesn't even matter that Clay Russell just bumbled his life away. They haven't been able to do shit all game. Corner strike, I see it. Deep dig, I see it. Nothing. Oh, you're so bagged right now. I'm sending the blitz here. Oh, shit. Actually well defended. He just broke the tackle. Against the jet sweep right there, that was probably the best way we could have played that defense. Probably wildcat uh, jet sweep. Yep. All right, we're not going to send the blitz here. I just want this to look like the blitz. Let's see what he's got. This is a screen. Oh my God, he just ran peaks on bubble. And a really good move, honestly, out of Quinshawn, but still we stopped it for only four yards. Now I'm gonna send the blitz. And I'm gonna shade inside here. Oh my God, Will Johnson. It's <laughs> so good. Oh, he's back. He's back to this spot here, fourth and seven. I'm just gonna try and bag everything. Oh shit, this is not who I wanna be on right now. Can we step up? He makes the tough course. He's gotta make that throw. Oh! Oh my God! What a hit! Smack dab on the ball! Emmanuel McNeil Warren. Oh my God! It's a fumble for a fumble, and he's gonna quit. Hey, hey. you want a shot in your next game, buddy? Kick the ball off like you've got two testicles and not a saggy vagina. Fuck!
I like, I genuinely cannot understand that. How do you, how are you playing this game and you're scum kicking? I don't get it. Do you just want to win so bad that you don't care how you win? It's not football. It's, you're abusing a game mechanic. It has nothing to do with football. You know, I shouldn't even be saying that. Half the shit you do in this game, you can't do in real football. But most importantly, a W is a W. Since he rage quit there, I wasn't able to get my Clay Russell touchdown once again. Cap. <laughs> Feels like that's been happening a lot. But also, I did fumble with Clay Russell. I think to keep this fair, rather than one full pack, I'm just gonna take one training pack. There's a Legends training pack here. It gives you an 84 plus Legends player. I mean, technically, I could pull Tavon Austin right now. But if we could get a player, just a small upgrade potentially, I think Warren Sapp is a small upgrade to this team. Yeah, it's actually a really big upgrade because I have Booger McFarland in there right now. So we can put Warren Sapp as my starting D tackle. Bro, this game is so bugged. It's saying my lineup already includes McFarland, so I can't sub him in. No, it doesn't. He's nowhere on my team. Darius Alexander is my sub in for Booger McFarland, I guess, since I can't put him in. Hey, let's focus on the good gentlemen. Huge, huge win today. Takes us to four and one, meaning we're one win away from making the playoffs. We keep Luther Burden. We keep Tyler Grubbs, who was really good today. And we keep Jonah, the Arizona Wildcat. My tackles, my center, really good. I just got to work on my guards. But that was an awesome game, insanely good defense. And I'll see you gentlemen in the next episode. Peace.